Hey guys, King of the North here, back with some more Demon Souls. Last episode, we took out the Fool's Idol in World 3-1. We're going to be heading into 4-1 here. Before starting this episode, I did load up on arrows. So we're going to be heading to Island's Edge here. The enemies here are weak to blunt damage. I just want to see what kind of damage my spear is going to do before possibly switching to the uh, ace or whatever it is that I got. Not bad. It's it's alright. I think it'll do. Actually, I don't even think I have it on me. Nope. I do have the claymore, though. Still behind on damage because it's not as upgraded as the spear, so we'll stick with the spear. Damn it. Reason I'm doing that is because there are a pack of enemies up top, and I'd rather not have to fight multiples of these guys at one time. Chest should be a good shot there. Another one is going to pop up off to the left right there. It's very easy to get backstabs on these guys. This guy's like, where'd my buddy go? Not sure where he just rolled. Grab this item real quick. Actually, I've not come to this area yet, so... I should be looking around for items. It. I do need to move a little quick. I would like to get to the first boss for this area in this episode. I don't really know of a good half uh, a halfway mark here. Oh. I knew he was up here somewhere. <laughs> he came out quick, but you're ready for it. I did just do this area on stream a little bit ago. So I have a rough idea of where things are. Do have a bit of a mini boss here. Um, okay, I have the thief's ring equipped, and that's a good one to have going into here because there's like these giant flying manta ray things in the sky that will shoot these like green crystal looking things at you. And having that thief's ring kind of helps keep you out of their aggro range. Of course, this guy does have more health than the first one we fought. But... He's no real... major threat. Mainly does the butt slams, as long as you stay close to him. Grab this, Katana. Got an item back here. 
Unknown hero soul. Gonna hold off on this fog. Yeah, that's the and everything there. Gonna hold off on going down for now. Great demon soul from the boss. So everything over here. Then over here, we'll head through this side. Oh. There are traps here. Be mindful of those. I'm trying to be quick getting through here because this is a little bit of a larger area. So hopefully uh, me being hasty doesn't get me killed. These guys, though, are pretty dangerous. And they're dangerous because you see how much stamina damage he just did. It's very easy for them to break your guard. I'm not getting the backstabs off that I want. There we go. Got one. Alright, he's dead. I think he drops like a soul piece or something like that. Or the I think he drops soul from me, so I'm not gonna jump down there and loot him. Not really worried about it. Head up. It's one guy on wall here. Uh, you can roll here, and I suggest rolling at, like, this angle right here. Wasn't a very good attempt, but uh, you can get a ring early by going there. I'm not going to do it. I feel like it skips too much of the level. But we will get that ring from over there. Uh, I am going to take this crystal lizard out right now, or at least try to. Alright. So he can't run away from me later. But if I do die or mess up, that crystal lizard is uh, considered a waste at that point. Because we won't get it to... We, that, that's a use of its existence. Essentially. Because we've killed it. Right. There's a little bit of an ambush here. This guy's waiting at the end for us. There's another hallway that has one waiting at a, a cross. Yeah, here we go. This is not that, not the one I was referring to, but always be ready for, you know, them to jump out at you. Be better to get him down at the bottom here, not fight him on the steps. Oh, no. Now I'm on the other thing, the other steps. <laughs> Jesus. There we go. Just to get a little bit more health and not waste one of the bigger heals for that. Go through here, this is a dead end. You definitely won't put the thief's ring on here. 
kind of a dangerous area with the mana rays. This is the uh, crow that you're able to trade items for. I know that dropping a talisman here gives a gray soul, I believe it is. Where is this at? It's under weapons, I think. We just picked one of these up. Drop. Confirm. Ooh, but before I do that... Uh, we do want to pick up... The, uh, remnants from that crystal lizard we just killed, because I don't know if that's going to reset that. Back around. And I don't, mind, I don't mind doing this because the PS5 loading screens are pretty fast, so it's not going to eat up too much time by doing this, but leave the item there for the crow. Oh, now exit game, save, and exit. Continue. Load right back in. Grab a colorless demon soul. There it is. So, from here, we are going to go back to the stairwell in this area. We have an invisible wall to go through here. I believe this is the hallway that can get a little messy. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's very easy to get uh get a pincer attack on you right there with those two guys. Just be careful. Here we have a merchant. We grabbed a copper key earlier. That opens this. There's a soul back here. You saved me. Heavens, I can't believe I fell for that trap. I suppose I owe you now. I'm Blige, a grave robber. It's thanks I can provide you with useful goods. Who couldn't do with a little help down in these parts? So this is a vendor. His uh, notable item here is the Sticky White Slime, which is a magic enchantment on your weapon. It's his inventory. From here, we just run straight back across. This is another invisible wall. And then this will take you up behind the area. And this is another trap. Uh, right where we fought that giant demon here. Go through this fog gate now. And I want to say this is where the area starts getting a little scared the hell out of me. I'm not going to lie. I jumped. <laughs> this is where the area actually starts to get a little dangerous. It's very easy to get overwhelmed. These uh, mana ray things are actually... Uh, have a better chance of targeting you here. There's two of these archers that you want to take out right away. I'm going to get hit again. I hear the uh, mana ray. There's also another one of those red-eyed skeletons here. And he can get a little nasty. Don't be afraid to cheese him a little bit here. Take advantage of his poor AI. Okay, it looks like he's actually going to come around. Yes, he is. Do you want to fight him in here? If I am going to fight him... Oh, he was waiting. I'm going to hit the wall, aren't I? Oh, no, we got him. My only real reason for doing that is because, like I said, these mana rays uh, can get you here. 
and cause a uh, quite a bit of a headache for you if you're not careful. I'm going to switch the two hands here and hopefully be able to finish him off. There we go. Got him. See, so Judicator's Shield. I believe that that has a healing effect on it, a passive healing effect. It doesn't offer a 100% physical damage mitigation, but uh, I think it's like 95, so you'll take a little bit of damage from doing blocks with it. But stacking that with a ring that we're going to get a little later. Well, offer nice healing, but it also heals faster depending on the um, upgrades you apply to it. So here's another trap. So far in this area, the, the arrow shots have been coming from in front of us, but here it's actually behind us. Put my shield up, we should be good now. If you activate it once, it's dead. Unless you come back to the area after resetting the world. Do not like those mana rays. Okay. Grab this. Known hero soul. Like I said, this is where things start to get a little more dangerous. Up ahead here, there is a... And you're just going to keep getting shot. Um, can I hit this thing? I know it's moving, and there's like four of them, so I'm not really going to accomplish much here. Yeah, I don't think I can hit him. I think you know, at the right angle you're able to get some damage in on him or whatever, but... So this guy up here... Punched him off. There we go. Uh, that's... The best way to handle him. Jesus, man. These mana rays. Something else. And they do like just enough damage to like put you in like a really dangerous situation. Or if you're coming out of like a nasty hit, like they'll come in and finish you off. Okay. Don't really feel like fighting these guys on the cliff here. I said, especially with these jerks shooting at us. Okay, this is a fog gate. Almost there. Almost at our boss. Come back here, though. Is a crystal lizard. I want to try. I think it's like a moon shards or something it gives. Alright, we got it. Okay. Up up here. Down here to this narrow pathway here. And this is the regenerator's ring. This is the ring I was talking about. If you rolled onto the wall, you can come down here and get this early. But like I said, at that point, you skip a lot of the level. And I didn't want to do that just yet. So I'll head back in here. There was an item up top. We'll grab that. And there's another one on the back side. We gotta walk across the board. I think this is uh, another ring. Uh, the Grave Robber's Ring. Let me see what that does. I, I, I'm drawing a blank on what that offers. 
Oh, here it is. Uh, become harder for black phantoms to detect. Okay, so if you're possibly getting invaded, gives you a little bit more of a stealth option. I guess it works similar to, oh my god, to the thief ring, but just for PvP. Stepped on another trap there. Another one of these double sword guys. Take advantage of trying to get some extra damage in there. There we go. Okay, so... Oh, he's not dead. There we go. Got him. So, coming up on the boss here. Uh, not a hard boss. I want to see the hardest part about this boss is actually getting down to the level to do damage to him. Because he can do some pretty nasty damage on your way down to him. Uh, you can't do damage to him directly, as far as I'm concerned. Probably magic, maybe. Uh, that I'm not entirely sure, because I haven't tried it with magic. But he has, like, a metal blade sticking into uh, one of his thighs. want to keep hitting that until he falls down, and then you can do damage to his head. Kind of similar to the Tower Knight that we fought already. Uh, in, in terms of how you, you, know, you do most damage. But in this case, doing damage to his body isn't going to do anything. So with that, let us get started. I'm going to top off here. Like I said, you don't want to waste any time. You just kind of want to get down right away. Because he's going to keep doing different shots. Around. But here is the metal blade sticking into him. That horrible screech sound you heard is actually his head. I think I'm actually like, yeah, I wasn't. I don't think he was locked on the right area. You see that three popping up in terms of damage, but it's not really doing damage to him. So I guess uh, just hitting this little metal spot in him irritates him. You see blood slowly pouring out of everywhere. Switch the two hands, lock onto the bird here, and just poke away. Reminds me of Mr. Potsdam from uh, Harvester. When you run into him in the lodge. And there you go. Not a hard boss. Funny means I'm actually a little disappointed that I took a hit there. <laughs> when I did him in a prep run. I did it without getting hit, and even when I did it on stream, I managed to do it without getting hit. But uh, he does do a lot of damage in a single hit, but he does move very slow, and it's easy to kind of just walk around his his swings. So nothing super hard there. But with 22,000 souls, I am going to head back to the Nexus here. And he gives us the Swollen Demon Soul. So we'll head back to the Nexus. And the Nexus Keeper is right here. What do I want to do? At least get to 20 Endurance. I am going to dump more into Strength because I do want to start getting to a nice strength level because I do want to try to switch over to the claymore at some point. I am loving this spear though, I'm not going to lie. And before anything else happens, I want to make sure we take this intentional death to preserve the world tendency. So come up here, roll off, get a nice drop, and leave that body getting the soul form here but at 24 minutes in I'm gonna call that an episode uh, next episode we'll probably head into 5-1 I'm actually really happy with the progress we made there that went really smooth 
So hopefully we can keep that pace up. So for now, guys, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace.